Well guys, welcome to my first riding video of uh, 2018. Actually, it's the first video, uh, The well I did a snow ride actually, so it's not the, it's the first dirt ride, there you go. And I actually, this was going to be a garage video, I did, uh, I ended up getting a wheel balancer for this 690 because I had to put a wheel lock in the back, like a rim lock. So I wanted to balance that out, and uh, so far it's really smooth. So I'll splice in some clips of balancing that and let you guys know a little bit about how that process went. But yeah, we'll get a few clips here of, I'm actually just up checking out the snow conditions today, so. Man, it's fantastic up here. Hope you guys are all getting out, getting some riding in. I gotta say, there's a bit of an issue with this 690. Now that I put that knobby tire on the back, as soon as I turn this thing here, the front wheel goes straight to the sky. Like, it's almost uncontrolled. Well, it's controllable, but I could see how an amateur would grab a handful of throttle on this thing and you'd be buying a rear fender amongst other things. I gotta say, having these heated grips and then wearing the thinner gloves is a pretty cool common, uh, no pun intended, it's a pretty good combination. So we got some semi-frozen snow over here, a 690 with a knobby. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sounds like fun to me. Holy, this bike's cool. I gotta be honest with you guys. I should set my camera up if I wasn't so lazy, but being the first uh, ride of the year, I kind of just want to enjoy it. So that's why I thought I'd give you guys a few uh, clips into what my summer is going to be like. That's awesome. I got to get a few shots. The snow will be gone soon. see I hope you can see that I added a rim lock to mine because uh, the the tube was turning in there like I was spinning inside the rim so I think you know a lot of the beginner guys and maybe the novices aren't gonna ride quite so aggressively but I tend to ride it I use the power so uh, my tube was I could tell it was starting to turn already so I I thought the only way to solve that other than putting my tubeless in there which I still might do but for now, I just threw a rim lock in there and that problem went away. So, you know, you could spin it enough to rip the valve stem off. So that's a lot of power to be spinning in there. So here's what the problem is. Now that I have the weight in there, if you put it to the center line, watch what happens. It drops fairly fast to the bottom. So there's a lot of weight down there. So, so here's my issue. Here's my, uh, I took my wheel apart. I took the tube out and there's my rim lock. I don't know what's probably off a of 450 or something because the 690s don't come with one in the rear. At least mine didn't anyway. So when I put it on my little package scale here, we're at, I don't know what that is in pounds. That's like, looks like a hundred. It's at the four anyways. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there it is. So I'm going to try and drill a few holes in strategic places and I'm also going to cut the, it's got a really long, the, the bolt that goes through the rim only needs to be half that long. And I'm going to see how much I can reduce this in weight by and the idea is hopefully to get it a little smoother on the highway. It might not sound like a big deal but you know if you're going down the road with you know vibrating it's not very much fun so we'll see how that works out. So I got her Got her all drilled up here. I made it look like Swiss cheese, the the rim lock. I put four good size holes in and I also cut each side down so it's a lot narrower. And I actually managed to cut the weight in half so it's down to two. Uh, two ounces I guess that would be. 
So my plan is to put some wheel weights on the inside under the rim strip and then that should uh, counteract that. So I'll see how that works. So I'll show you guys what I did there. I actually added uh, an ounce underneath the tube on the inside so you can see I put duct tape to help hold it and then the rim stripping it's a pretty thick one on this bike so and then the tube will be on down on that so I imagine it would hold in place I hope but I went straight across from the rim lock here so hopefully that'll minimize the amount of weight I have to add to the outside because I know those get knocked off with sticks and rocks and stuff all the time so yeah we'll see how that works so I played around with it, I spared you guys the boring stuff, but I ended up with uh, these little, each little weight here is a quarter, you can see those, each little weight is a quarter ounce, so there's one ounce in four of them. So I ended up, in total I ended up with two ounces to across from the rim lock. So in the rim lock, the rim lock is right there. So you can see now when I put it, ideally you want them across from each other and when you let go it shouldn't move at all. That's close enough for me. The inner tube is also there, the valve stem, so that's going to add a tiny bit of weight. But you can see my weights are right there, so when you put them straight across from each other it hardly moves any difference. I should also mention before I forget, uh, I used a little uh, level to make sure your balancer is pretty darn close to level because that could throw things off. So um, I just put it on the base there and made sure it's got um, the legs turn out. So make sure that's level. But yeah, I can't wait to try it out. I bet that because it was hopping around pretty good before. I got a pretty big dirt bike style, you know, like a big knobby on here which is probably what I'll always run, but yeah, we'll give her a try. Hope that helps some of you guys out. So I just thought I'd have a little fun with the camera. I found this cool little meadow here, so and there's snow's kind of semi-frozen because it gets cold at night still. So I thought I'd have a little fun with the camera. You guys could check these photos out at Instagram too. I always put my links, you know, in the description below to all my social media, so. I appreciate you guys watching all my stuff. Don't forget to like, drop a comment, and let me know how I'm doing. I got a lot of stuff planned for this summer. You know, I had family issues last year, so, you know, I'm pretty much able to focus on bikes this year. So it should be a pretty good summer, I'm hoping. Um, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.